any procedure if you are going below the apex or um, you are um, into the um, subgenital region then you would be going for the antibiotic prophylaxis now some of the clear cut ones um, let's go through those first and then we're gonna do some of them which are not a hard fast rule but those could be considered right so first of all oral examination it is all fine you don't go below the apex um, but your periodontal probing yes you will right uh, rubber dam clamping no that's fine you do the supragingival clamping um, ortho brackets or um, any kind of ortho treatment no it's fine because we are doing the supra uh, but if you are doing the ortho bands yes you should um, give the antibiotic prophylaxis okay or if you are doing a rubber dam and there is a risk of the gingival damage it's specifically mentioned then but otherwise rubber dam doesn't need it and then um, any of the ortho no except for the ortho bands okay uh, now let's come to the scaling um, if it is the supragingival scaling no you don't need it um, but if it is subgingival scaling yes if it is the periodontal disease is present yes uh, if there is some some implants yes epistectomy yes any surgeries yes or if you have an evulsed tooth, the tooth that came out and then you're gonna re-implant it, definitely yes, you need the antibiotic prophylaxis, okay? Now let's come to the gel application. You're not doing anything beyond the apex. So gel applications, no, you don't need it, right? Let's come to the endo one. So like we said, if it is an RCT, no, you don't need because you have an apical stop. So you do not need the antibiotic prophylaxis um, but if you have the endo which you are doing beyond the apical foramen yes you will need it right and for any kind of surgery if you are doing the retraction cord and you are doing you know subgingival retraction cord then definitely you need it now we come to the restorations no you don't need it in the restorations okay uh, but um, let's come to all the injections now so for the injections if it is the first one if it is the infiltration you do not need it okay if it is your block that is the regular things that you do no you don't need it but if it is the intra ligamentary or if it is the intra osseous so you're going beyond the apex so that means yes you need the antibiotic prophylaxis and after that if you do any kind of extractions yes extractions are a definite yes because this is the surgery same as it is with the biopsies biopsy yes biopsy you need it now what about the suture removal now this is a bit controversial but the current guidelines say that it is better that you do the antibiotic prophylaxis in the suture removal so yes in the suture removal removal you will do it what about the radiograph simple process no you don't need it and uh, impression taking you don't need it okay so i'm just going to go through the list again oral examination you don't need it but the perio probing yes you need um, then your um, second thing is impression taking you don't need it radiographs you don't need it then gel applications you don't need it rubber dam clamping you do not need it unless it actually is going to injure your gingiva or it, it's going to cause the gingival damage now the next one is um, uh, your um, ortho brackets you don't need it but if it is ortho bands yes you need it endo you don't need the where is my endo rcts yeah you don't need it but if it is endo beyond the apex yes you need it and similarly if you reimplant the tooth yes you need it if you do apicosectomy yes you need it if you need do any kind of implants yes you need it supragingival scaling you don't need it subgingival scaling yes you need it right and then is restorations no you don't need it uh, injections your regular infiltrations in block you do not need intraligamentary and osseous yes you need and then the suture removal yes you need it suture removal you need it um, 
biopsy you need it implants you need it um but do we have the periodontal disease yes and then i also said i will also mention some general and those general are if it is a prolonged procedure or if you're doing the multiple procedures then you can consider it okay so in these let's say you have a patient where you're going to do any of these and you're like hey wait a minute i will need an antibiotic prophylaxis in this patient then not all the patients need it but then you will go through the history of the patient and if you find certain things in the history of the patient, you will go for the antibiotic prophylaxis.